All right, here's my tip for your best option for free and easy data analysis from Google Sheets. And that actually requires using a program called Jamovi, J-A-M-O-V-I. The page looks like this. So to get data from Google Sheets, if you just watched the last video on how to get this into PSPP, I love PSPP because I trained on FPSS and PSPP looks like how SPSS looked when I was in grad school. Um, and so if you have a product manual for SPSS or if you have an instructor that's using SPSS but you don't wanna pay for the software, you can normally figure out what you're doing in PSPP. But that doesn't always make it the most user-friendly or up-to-date software. So here's the option for Jamovi, which is free. And the great thing about it is you can use it on a Chromebook, which PSPP doesn't really play nicely with. So I already showed you how to export, right? So go to File, Name your, your, your data sheet, what you're going to name it. Go to File, go to Download, and tell it that you want it to download as a CSV. And it's just going to automatically start your download. Okay. Come to jimmovi.com, and I'll drop the link in the comments. I'm not affiliated with them. I don't make any money off of this. I just, I've played around with more statistic software than I would like to admit. And I do think that this is one of the most user-friendly ones if you're working in a group and you need desktop and cloud functionality, or if you have a Chromebook and you need cloud functionality. Um, you can download the desktop application, which gives you way more functionality because they try to get you to pay for the cloud. But I'm just going to demo this real quick so you kind of can see how to do this. So if you click on Jamovi Cloud, it's going to ask you to start. And it's going to give you options for your plans. Um, I always just use this guest one. Um, but the problem with it, especially as a student, if you're doing a lot, a lot of work, you only have a 45 minute session limit with a five minute idle limit. What this means is you're going to have to work in 45 minute chunks at a time. And if you go idle for more than five minutes, it's going to kick you out. So if you need to look something up, that can be difficult. Why I like Jamovi for my students is because to do this priority, it's only $8 a month and there's no contract. So you can subscribe to it for the semester, use it how you need it and be done. If you're on a Chromebook, if you're on a Mac or a PC, just download the software and save yourself this headache. So I sign in as a guest. It boops around while it starts my session. Um, it also slows you down a lot if you're on cloud. But really all you have to do then is come over here to your three lines, come to open. You can save things in OneDrive to do them or you can uh, do from your device. Here's my example correlation sheets. And it has populated my data set. Now to continue with our example last time about running a correlation, correlation is a little bit harder to find in um, Jamovi because all you have this window right here. There's not a whole lot extra. They actually keep correlations under regression, which makes sense, right, for those of us who know stats. Um, so regression, and you can review your correlation matrix. And then you just tell it what you want to test for correlation. So to keep with the past example, I want to look at chemistry final score and trigonometry final score, and also the student's overall GPA. And it's going to spit this out for me in a correlation matrix where I can see, okay, my chemistry exam or my trigonometry exam final score, I can come down here to read this column and my Pearson's are between my trig final and my chem final was 0.665 and it's at a P value at 0 0.001 on the significance level. So we've met, we've surpassed our 0.05. Same thing going through this grid, overall GPA. I can come over here comparing my overall G GPA and its correlation with the chemistry final exam score. I have a Pearson's R value of 0.197 and a P value of 0.404. So this one is not statistically significant. And then comparing my, trigono my overall GPA score to my trigonometry score, I come over here, trig down, GPA over, um, and I barely have statistical significance there, but I got it, right? My R is 0.447, my statistical significance is 0.048. So that's how to read a correlation matrix in Jamovi. You can do yourself a shortcut and tell it to go ahead and flag the significant correlation. So you can have a quick little shortcut on your table to try to catch your eye. Um, this correlation matrix isn't quite as user-friendly as the way the output spits out in SPSS. But again, this is a great free option for you. Now, if you're on the free cloud version, 
you actually cannot save your data from session to session. So you're going to want to do a save as or an export because you're not going to be able to sign back in and see your previous work. So make sure you're saving and exporting in case of a computer crash. And that is my recommendation for what free software to use to get from Google Sheets to like real data analysis for free. If you're using a Chromebook or if you need to have fully cloud based computing, um, again, if you're able to actually sit at a desktop and download, I would recommend downloading the full Jamovi app or downloading JASP, J A S P, or downloading PSPP. And I'll link to all of those in the comments as well.